we talk about the Russians, which really started this, but then the Taliban, the Mujahideen come in and they crack down on women. Give us your sense of the history of that, both of you. I'll start with you and then ask Mina. Well, Mina, of course, can really give us the history, but one of the things this book does is it talks about all of that. I'd actually forgotten the Russians went in. The Russians went in for 10 years and bombed, basically ruined Afghanistan, wanting their natural resources. So the Mujahideen, these militias formed uh, to run the Russians out, which they did. Um, after 10 years, but then they started to fight with each other and then the Taliban came in and this is what I understood from Mrs. Connie or maybe did you tell me this the ta Talib means student and the Taliban were boys who were either war or orphans or they were Just adrift in some way or their parents couldn't feed them So they put them in madrasas because they were feeding them in the madrasas and then in the madrasas They were taught this radical form of Islam so they were boys that never were really even parented, you know, just only put in schools. And maybe they were orphans and didn't have parents, but. How did this radical form of Islam take hold uh, through this? Well, um, Afghanistan has always, has always been a 99% Muslim country. And I was raised in Afghanistan and so had, did my family. And, um, I was 18 when I got out. I never saw these things, and I never heard of the name of Talib. You know, um, yes, uh, it was a conservative um, country, but everybody had their choices. You know, you want to wear the burqa, you want to wear the chadar, you know, the big scarf, you walk around like this. Um, I mean, we used to go to Kandahar, and my mom would wear pants and a shirt and a little scarf on her head. We would go to the stores, we would walk around in the villages and everywhere. It was not a problem. But I think this uh, radicalism, the way it started, what, what was the cause of it, it was the communism. Because Afghans believed that communists have no religion. And they have come in and conquered. And um, so Islam is going to go away, the faith is going to go away, the religion is going to go away. So that was a part of it. And then um, when they started fighting, which is called jihad, they fought for jihad. And they did fight against the Russians, and they left. When they left, this is where um, you know, all the radicals that were trained in Pakistan and around the country, um, it, they found the opportunity to come in. And, and, the, and civil war started. The civil war started. And during this time, it was a process of protecting their women and their daughters uh, for, for men, because they are the first victims of war. It's the men and the children. So what they started doing was protecting and hiding. And that, I mean, can you imagine if a boy that was born maybe 25 years ago, that's all he knows, how to hide his sister, his wife, his mother. It was in the Afghanistan that was there 40 years ago that it's okay if you go to the movies with your husband or with your brother or without a scarf or with a scarf. So this brought so many, uh, so many things happened that brought this kind of this radicalism of Islam within the country. And the other thing, education went away. Our scholars went away. Our institutions were destroyed. Everything was demolished. So by the time the Taliban came, which was like an icing on the cake for everybody, so they made it worse for, for women. Uh, they, no woman was allowed to do anything. They had to stay home. They couldn't get out. If they got out, they had to get out with, the, with their maram, which is their brother or husband or father. Otherwise, they would be beaten to death. 